Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 14, Thoughts. This episode is called Tahiti. Another episode I love. Spoilers for the MCU leading up to and including the episode, but nothing that has come out since. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers. I implore you to do so. And then there's some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive in. So, yeah, we open on the team playing the blame game. It's not as much fun as it might sound. And Ward does now seem to feel it is his own fault rather than Coulson. And yeah, Coulson leaves, you know, he's trying to contact Fury but not getting a response and leaves a message. You know, it could, you know, yeah, it's life or death. And, yeah, so the, the doctor says, you know, we, we can, you know, we can put her on life support, but that's, that's the best we can do. You should call her family. And Coulson says, we're her family. And the doctor says, in that case, I'm very sorry. Hey! Oh, you mean condolences, not I'm really sorry that Sky has no better family than you. Gotcha. And <laughs> Melinda May beats the crap out of Ian in order to, you know, just, yeah, that was, I've said it before, I'm not in favor of violence in real life, but it was very cathartic. In, you know, in fiction, it can be very cathartic. And, let's see, yeah, so they're, they're going to you know, get her treatment at Tahiti. You're taking her all the way to Bethesda? You know they offer pronouns, right? And... Yeah, so the... the other S.H.I.E.L.D. jets, you know, come up to the... the bus, and thankfully this does not get stupid like the similar scene in X2. I get it. I know I you know, I appreciate that they wanted to get to an action scene and it is epic. I'm not denying that, but they really didn't need to make it such it's just everyone <laughs> why do the good guys in that scene behave so moronically as what I'm saying. And very cool to see Bill Paxton, R.I.P. Um, yeah, just really, really, yeah, glad to, to, yeah, to see him in, in, you know, I'm, I'm always down for that. I hope he reappears in later episodes. It just, yeah. There was a character in this episode named Beta. Oh, I get. I think he's the. I, I was. It, yeah, Alpha and Beta, in the 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 two guys at the Tahiti place, right? I was thinking. Wait, cause yeah, cause it's Jimmy McKenzie that goes with Laura in the post credit scene. Anyway, and the. Um, Yes, so that brings us to, yeah, I, I liked the scene between Ward and Triplet, who I'm guessing has two identical brothers. You know, this thing of, you know, basically like Trip is like, like textually, He's saying this is a very nice place. This this jet is is very nice, but subtextually he's like poking at Ward, saying you've gone soft. And you know they they get into a brief fight, which was very entertaining. And yeah, that there are some men that you sadly cannot leave alone around each other for very long, or they'll start fighting. And I like Garrett describing himself as, 
quite the sweet talker, and yeah, it's, you know, Bill Paxson, yeah, always, every, everything you saw him in, you know, he, he just has, you know, he had that way about him. And he, he pulls the tongue to get Ian to, to cooperate, which, wow. And, yeah, we learned that the reason Quinn shot Sky was that the clairvoyant told him. And, yeah, it's... You know, it's in order to get Coulson. You know, they they yeah they wanted the inf the clairvoyant wanted to still want to find out what happened with uh, Coulson with Tahiti. And see, yeah, and you know he's he says this is still about me, which dude ego trip much. And. I, I quite like the echo chamber. Sky could crack this. What would Sky do? I'm presuming bad girl shenanigans. Very cool shootout, and I do appreciate that it's not one of those dumb things where the the good guys just immediately choose violence. Like they do try to appeal. You know, they say we have someone dying here. Is there anything? You know. We don't know the countersign, but, you know, what is, yeah. And, let's see, yeah, and, and you know, one of them says to, to Colson, do, do I know you? And Colson's like, I, I may have been down here before, then you know about the timer. Uh, no, but thank you, now he does. Let's see. Sky's acting for the first time in the episode. I mean, she's coding. Seriously, though, that has to be either, like, the most boring work for an actor or the most, like, just relaxing, de-stressing to just be lying there. I guess it's probably uncomfortable with the stuff shoved up her face, but I look forward to next episode because I really do, you know, Chloe Bennett, great actress, really enjoying her performances on the show. And I, I understand the the reason for, for taking her away from us for an episode. And, yeah, so they find the, the um, GH thing, you know. And, you know, uh, Colton gives it to, you know, to, to pass on. And then he, you know, opens the door for Tahiti. And next we see, he's shouting, don't give it to her. And good guys don't look at, ex you know, cool guys don't look at explosions, but they do sometimes jump away from them. It's, you know, complete. It, it was a very, very cool bit with them just barely making it on to the, the bus. What harm can it do? Your Honor, ask and answered. And <laughs> what was the good news? You said there'd be good news. Well, yeah, I did. You still have your tongue. If you know, if you're a big fan, if you too are a big fan of Bill Paxton, and you have not already treated yourself to it, uh, hold on. I believe it's called yeah. Uh, his, you know, he he had a band called Martini Ranch. They did a song called Reach. James Cameron directed the music video. It's here on YouTube. Treat yourself. It is very, very entertaining. And and Cameron put a bunch of people that he knew in, you know, Catherine Bigelow, Jeanette Goldstein, Lance Henriksen appear in the, the video. So, yeah. Let's see. And... Yeah, and, and, you know, Melinda May, yeah, several people talk to Colson, and he's still, like, he's completely shook still. And, you know, Melinda May asks, what, why did you shout, don't give it to her? And we see what he saw, and apparently 
all the the stuff was like fluids drained I get maybe blood but possibly other fluids from what based on other MCU stuff that had come out before this episode I wanna you know hold on actually I'm gonna I'm just double check so that was March of 2014 so when did because that was also 2014. Was it before the 4th of March? Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, possibly. Okay. I'll just say that there was other stuff in 2014 that maybe gave a distinct hint what the nature of, of the, the Blue Man separated from his group that we saw in the yeah in in the the room I right I, I liked that part where you know they find the timer you know it's like nine and a half minutes left and you know Colson and Fitz proceed you know further down as Ward picks the thing apart trying to find you know the the debt detonator and you know as he's doing that apparently Garrett is looking for the detonator in the room you know very very clever we don't need to see him we don't need to see Ward like picking it apart you can just go from you know I, I love when filmmaking is economical which you know on TV today not always but today it really has to be and just I love to see it and then we get the post credits where Lorelai hypnotizes Jimmy McKenzie I really hope Nicole is is told it's not he didn't he didn't mean to to you know betray you like that he just you know just got married like what is what did he say since yesterday morning or something and she thinks you know obviously she would assume that he must have you know abandoned her on purpose I, I really hope somebody tells her that it was like powerful hypnosis and I don't offhand know Lorelai from um, but but you know she says Midgard so you know it's you know very, obviously very dangerous because she's a Tolkien cosplayer. That you got to be careful around that. No, she's as guardian, and yeah, very cool to to see such a direct. You know, we've had stuff that had to do with Thor earlier in the show, but not really. This is the first time we meet, and as well. Second time, I suppose. We did meet that other, the, the, the guy, the history professor. But yeah, um, I don't have much else to say about this episode. Um, yeah, I did, I, I really appreciated how, you know, over the course of the episode, we're basically, we're seeing how these different people... You know, the, the, yeah, the different responses that the team members have. You know, Coulson, you know, turns the plane around to save her life. Melinda May beats the crap out of Ian Quinn. And it's not like, oh, she's just in a, in a daze. She, you know, the moment that he says something, she's like, oh, what did I do? No, the moment that he says, you can't beat up someone who's defenseless. She's like, oh yeah, well you sh you, know, you attacked Sky. You shot Sky when she was defenseless, you know. Um, and yeah, just the the various you know every everybody wants her to live, but they have different like, yeah. I think that may be what I have. I, I would like to see Triplet as well again. He was also I really appreciate that they gave him like personality. The you know I, I have to admit the moment I saw him it was like okay 
he's like he's a he's supposed to he's the foil for war that's it right you know but they there is more to him than that and i really appreciate that and i i like that it's not just you know oh immediately triplet and ward fight no you know triplet is is like talking about oh yo is that a full bar and you know these various things did I say yo? I meant to say you know. I wasn't trying to do a racial thing there, racist thing. Um, I think that might be about right. Um, so wait, is is that who I think it is? The, the kid who just got married, that's the actual son of Jim Belushi. Wow. I, just, I really, you know, I saw that his last name was Robert Belushi. Yeah. I think he, yeah. Wow. Anyway, the, the yeah. Um, let's see. Right, another thing I, uh, yeah, I also really liked the the reveal that, you know, the, I'm, I'm not going to be able to, to restate everything that we learned because I don't remember all of it, but, like, we found, you know, the doctor that Colson talked to went off the grid, and, like, the place that he was treated wasn't a shield facility, and all these, you know... And I can imagine later in the show we'll learn more about the the mountain place. I, I guess we can't call it Tahiti anymore because Tahiti was the project that, yeah. And this is also, this is the second episode in a row where the, the title is like an abbreviation and we don't learn what it's an abbreviation. It, it, like, it's written as if it's an abbreviation, but it appears to also just have a, a literal meaning, so maybe it's not. Yeah. That is about what I... Right, I, I quite like that the place clearly had other... There was other stuff going on there, you know, and the 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 fact that the this mountain area that they had like you know they built it in a place where yeah you know if like it's it's one thing that it's rigged to to self destruct but it's also like in this place where the the mountain will completely you know cover like it would be impossible you know i would I guess it's, okay, in the MCU, very little is impossible. Maybe it'll happen, but it seems like it's going to be extremely difficult to get anything out of, you know, now that it's blown up, you know. So they were very careful to choose that place. And I think... Yeah, because, you know, it's not like they open the door and there, Project Tahiti. No, they have to, like, walk down some hallways. There's various different doors and, and such. And, yeah, so near the end, you know, Lorelai asks, you know, she, she realizes, you know, as she walks in the valley of the shadow of death, yeah. Let's see. Right. Uh, so this is apparently the first live-action portrayal of John Garrett. Very cool. And... Let's see. Oh. Some people thought the... the yeah. When Simmons first mentions she wants to phone Dr. Strighton, many people mistakenly thought she said Dr. Strange. But in subsequent scenes, she's clearly saying Strike. 
the character portrayed by Ron Glass from the pilot in the magical place. Yeah, I guess with the accent. Oh, Shrek. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can kind of hear it. You know, I, I watch it with captions, so. And let's see. Oh, huh. right. And the the blue body was produced using a body scan of Brandon Kolpak, son of series visual effects supervisor. Mark Kolpak, the creature had to be muscular. Brandon, who is a personal trainer, an amateur bodybuilder, was chosen. Amateur, he seems pretty good at it. He he built himself a body, and it is definitely like it is it is going to to change the the crap. What's the line? The, the the cause but not the symptom for sure and that is what I have to say for this one so the yeah the next episode should be tomorrow and until then I'm gonna see if I can find out is all of Midgard so desolate <laughs>